Hi guys, uh, long, long time no see. Um, I recently uh, bought this clock. Um, it's a Friesen clock from Holland. Uh, I think from 1856, I've been told, I'm not sure. But I know for sure it's the oldest one in my collection now. Uh, what's so typical about it? Um, first of all, um, it's one of the last kinds of Friesen clocks ever made because of the copper uh, dial. Um, also, um, the chains are no uh, standard uh, O-loops, but they are, um, I think they're more like an 8. Especially made for the, these types of clocks. Um, also, they use one weight for um, the movement and for the striking mechanism. So this chain goes up to the striking mechanism and this chain goes uh, to the movement. So um, this is called a um, loop of Huygens. So what that means is um, the clock can still run even when I wind it. So I'm winding it now, but the clock is still running. It's typical, typical about Frisian clocks. Also, um, the, this lower side from here with the front panel can be removed so it can gain access to the pendulum. So it's holding place with a small key. And also, you know, I don't know if you can see it right there. Well, I shall, I shall open the glass so you can see it better. So this small uh, hand um, is for the alarm clock. There's an alarm clock on this clock. You can see the numbers on the hour hand. That indicates when it's going to strike and it's going to strike at 10 o'clock. Let's go and switch it on. It's too loud. And the alarm clock works with weights. That's these weights. So uh, when you don't want to uh, use the alarm, you hang the weights on these small hooks. And when you want to start the alarm, you remove it from the hooks and hang it down. I shall uh, remove the hood so you can see what's underneath there. So this is a clock without the hood. It's also typical about Dutch clocks. You can always remove the hood to gain access to the movement. It's also typical those pillars are always nicely decorated. This is just brass, nothing fancy. You can see that small wheel with the chain over there, that's for the alarm, and next to it is the escapement wheel. That's the wheel for striking, that's the wheel for the going train. The governor wheel. And that's the other side. And those are just the bars for... Um, Converting the movement from the striking wheel to the hammer of the bell up here. So, yeah. That's most of it. <laughs> but uh, I don't uh, turn it on at night because it, it's ticking too loud. <laughs> so that's all. Goodbye.